The Putnam County girls basketball team took their lumps last year as they started four sophomores and one junior. The good thing is they have 25 games under their belts and they are a year older. They're catching on stuff we did last year with this summer. We look super this summer playing ball and I'll tell you what I hope it carries on through the season this year. Got a lot of experience coming back so it should help. The Mount Pleasant boys basketball team was the best area team in Iowa last year. The Panthers were 24 and 3 and finished second in the state, but it's time to turn the page. Well, last year is over and, and we realize it's time to move on. We've got uh, uh, a bunch of uh, new faces, new players that uh, are anxious to, uh, to get into that role. Uh, our kids really put in a lot of time this summer. The Truman State men's basketball team looked impressive last night as they beat Central Christian College 99 to 51. The Bulldogs are on a stretch where they will play five games in eight days. Next up, it's Grandview tomorrow in Iowa. Coach Matt Woodley wants to show off his team in his hometown. A lot of family, a lot of friends. Coach Lawrence and my assistant played at Grandview. Um, obviously, we're both from that area. There's going to be a lot of excitement around there on Thursday, and we'll, we'll, we will play well. I will have us ready to play in that game. Indian Hills has moved up five spots in the latest junior college basketball poll. They are now ranked fourth. The Kirksville wrestlers should once again be one of the best teams in the state. Its senior class is loaded with talent. For example, Chris Hooper is looking to have a breakout year. How is Hooper better this November than he was this time last year? I'm bigger, stronger, a little bit quicker, more aggressive, not as passive and defensive. I'd really like to see him get, uh, get up there in that top three, and uh, it'd be pretty exciting to get uh, number one out of him.